This is it TV. I can talk. Where the I can talk. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am very excited, very, very excited to welcome my next guest to Icon Talk. Uh, you know, this man is is family. This I know. This is not even a guest bridging, big man thing. This is a this is a bridging that we grew up together. Yes, um, sir. you know, hungry together. Yes, sir. You know, pillage yeah. for food together, <laughs> bringing some real sticky situations ah. together <laughs> and you know in my eyes is a real inspiration to evil what may i do right now to this very program that you're watching right now um yes. <laughs> this this bridging is one of the reasons one of the many reasons why this bridging is more than an icon is not just what we did coming up and um experience but what he's doing right now where he's at and what he's doing and the impact that he's making on people's lives young people's lives and an entire community in these united states of america <laughs> is my sincere pleasure for welcome my brethren gregory hall coach gregory hall <laughs> aka yes, ruthie yes, to man. i can talk yeah. well, on, bro Davi, respect, King. Why well, I know, sir, the, the only thing we have to say in our introduction was, yo, my brother wrote it. Do you know, it. Yeah, man, can I tell people all the time, all the time, you know, say, yeah, family or blood, but me have a few people who are close to me, one of blood, but I feel like they're closer to me than family. And you fall in one of that, my youth. And, Facts, and, bro. Go get straight into it, because I just saw the energy set. Um, I... Growing up, you know, when they have the, when they have the, when they used to express yourself how we, how we want, but you know, some respect you like that. Now, you know, say, I respect your mom, I respect your dad, but we never really tell tell them, yo, each other. Yeah. So, David, yeah. Dan, you're one of them, you know, I love like that, Bridget. Feel me? Yeah, man. We can't be more proud of what you are going with right now. And it's absolutely a blessing for the sit down with you right now on a Sunday. You see what yeah, man. The yeah, man, it, the, the sentiment, the sentiment is the same, bro. Because me know you've had, like, a, a, apart from me know you have a full week, Monday yeah. to Friday, <laughs> and even Saturday, sometimes Sundays. So, yeah. even when me call and say, "Ruth, the time is now," you you actually me actually literally get you up out of your bed to come yeah. to this. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, man. make we get into it, or no, Ruth? Yes. You are at this place called Taliqua, Oklahoma. Yeah, man. And the Googles, when we type it into the Googles, <laughs> it's a Taliwe, that literally why it's a Taliwe. Yeah. Never heard of this, bro. So I have to type it over. And yeah. the Googles come up with it and said, in a, in a, in a shard farm, Taliqua is a city of, in Cherokee County, Oklahoma. Yeah, man. Right? And it is the capital of the 19th century Cherokee nation in, eight, in 1839. Yeah. It's a, an historic place you are. However, yeah. we must admit it is way off the beaten path. <laughs> How you end up out of Bushmouth as a boss? Yo, let me tell us uh, uh, the quick version, see? Mm -hmm. So the journey started from GC Foster College. And um, I have friends who attended GC for track and field. And and I skip a whole heap, but we don't have time. We're gonna get to it, man. Just give yeah, the synopsis. So after after I have some friends that get recruited for um track and field by All Roberts. All Roberts is in Oklahoma. Yeah. So big university system. Yeah, man. Um, so mm -hmm. when when merging them get recruited with that GC, I might say, yo, how comes no baller now and get recruited? Yeah, I'm classify myself as a baller. <laughs> we go get to that too, Massa. Yeah. So, still not figure it out, but we go get to it. <laughs> so um we link some bridging, the bridging them at all Roberts, and them give me a contact. And then um we get we talk to the, the soccer coach at all Roberts. And um when I try to get into school there, because after a couple of years at GC, you know, say 
they get exposed to a certain level of education. You know you can do more. Yeah. But anyway, um, that whole thing fall apart. And Bridget and Earl Roberts said, you know, so we have a next coach I'm going to talk to. So we talked to the coach. The coach said, they are uh, uh, Northeastern State University, which in Atalakwa, Oklahoma. So okay, so we are looking for the opportunity, and the court said, "Yo, you hear me? We'll bring you in." So yeah, mm -hmm. said, oh. but at the time, the only thing we know about Oklahoma was Timothy McVeigh. If you said Oklahoma, <laughs> <laughs> no, yo, that was it. Yo, you feel me? <laughs> so, yo, um, um, long, long story short, we end up at Atalakwa and. As as a as a as a youth, we used to come back and forth to the US, but we never experienced nothing like come 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 at Alcoa. Cause we are New York, we are we are uh, 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 Florida, and we have you know fast pace buses, taxis, trains, subways, whatever you want to call it. You don't know. Mm -hmm. Alcoa, dog, it's um I wouldn't want to call it call it rural behind but, civilization. No, we can't call it that. No, <laughs> no. But anyway, that's what, the, 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 but, yeah. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, bro. So, after being here the first day, the first week, we say, "Yo, this isn't it, dog. This isn't it, car." Okay. <laughs> right? Okay, call. Hold yeah. on, hold on, hold on, bro. Yeah. Hey, this is a TV viewers. No, when I interviewed Warren Barrett, we swung. <laughs> From <laughs> we swung from Bertha to Barrett to Skipper, yeah, to Boopy. Yeah. Now, if you hear me swing from Ruthie to Greg to Cole, and the same person with the talk is yeah. not a different person. Yeah. All right, this is for the viewers, Cole. This is for the viewers. <laughs> now, you gotta push it along, but you are going on, yeah, you are going on. And 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 earlier in the year, Ruthie speak, spoke of um, Timothy McVeigh has been. Uh, the only connecting referencing can make to Oklahoma. Timothy McVeigh was one of the most um, famous domestic terrorists responsible yeah, for what's referred to as the Oklahoma bombings in 1995 in Oklahoma City. Yeah. All right. So we want to package up this thing in our, in our routine. We don't want us run along you know, because you see, a hold lot on. of people think. Hold on, hold on. We have an important point. So yes. we, we may be different, but we are the same. What I mean, Talk by, to me. that, what I mean by that is which part of the Talco, Oklahoma, are the capital of the Cherokee Nation. Right. The biggest Native American tribe in the United States. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I was gonna I was gonna speak on that too. Yeah, so how how that happened was the the, the trail of tears. I wasn't familiar with that until I came here. So the, the what? Say that again. The Trail of Tears. The, the Trail of Tears. Yes. And what I mean, what we have similar is it's quite similar to what our people, the African, them went through. Mm. Moving from Africa to the United States, or the whole slave trade, the Middle Passage. So I'm going to yeah. connect that. I'm going to connect that. The, the, the Native Americans was on the, the, the east coast of the United States, predominantly. And right. then they got forced out. So from moving from eastern Oklahoma, from um, eastern, eastern United States at the time, way back when, what you call Woi Woi. See? Mm -hmm. And them, them start travel west, from east to west in the United States. And where Wolipa people died, Wally for bloodshed, brutal weather. That's the trail of tears. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's almost like it's 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 like you said. Yeah, it's that just that journey with the yes. ships yes. across the Atlantic from Africa yes. to exactly. to these yes. to these lands where along that journey, yeah, we we we, we suffer the irreparable damages to a lot of people and we lost a lot of lives. You yeah. know, a lot of people. Thing. A lot of slaves jumped overboard. Yeah. In you know, it, so, uh, it, it more than to come and, 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 and you know yeah, come so, into the slave land. So um the, the the similarity is a people move from where they're originate originally from. Yeah. They ended up here. So when they got here, they, they were just going west. 
So when they got to this point, they say, yo, Bridge, now eat this, you know. And them send two people out to go check, like scouts, to go see yeah. how the land stay. And them say, yo, it it takes only two. Only two people go check it. And in, in them near in them tongue, the the, the, the the language I spoke at the time, Talakwa means it it takes two. Oh. So <laughs> the, the name of the no, you see, yeah. with 10 minutes in call, and he already gave me two things I'm gonna know. And listen, <laughs> like me tell the people them I will go get to that. Yeah, man. Me and you know each other from before Wapi killed Philip. We grew up together, but yeah, and me know your story. I know your story, an inspiring one, as 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 the listeners and viewers will hear soon. But I, you said two things. You said you literally had an outreach while he was at GC Faster to figure out wait, what make no football players now get no scholarship, which yeah. me never know that. You understand? And secondly, me never know that Talikwa literally mean um, why is a trail of two. No, it takes two. It takes two. Yeah. Beautiful. So, yeah. make a rewind the tape, you know. Yeah, my brother. Make a rewind the tape, you know, because it is important that people recognize the work that a little yard man from one one place and then say, a be a gunman come from Green Pan. Yeah. Because remember, when we grew up at that, then saying, a be a bad man come from Green Pan. Yes, and sir someone such as yourself who right now doing this interview from your office not somebody else's office or your borough no. from your office at this high school that you work yeah in oklahoma this is this is this is i inspiring my bro but you but let me bring you back to green pan yeah what what was that like growing up in a green pan montego bay st james jamaica yeah, imagine, like you at the at the time, you know, you know, really realize what you have, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But being the position I'm in now and looking back, reflecting, it was a joy, happiest days of my life. And one of the one of the best things about it was the people I was surrounded with. The people yes, mean man like man like you. I'm a bridge in them. I spend yeah, man, we can plug everybody, man, yeah. Nana Ragan. Belly, Belly pong, pong, yeah, you know, everybody. we and fall, uh, everybody. everybody, you know, the world, the world links, stop. Uncle Try. It takes a village, it. remember, mm -hmm. it takes a village, it takes a village. So, them experiences that I have growing up with, with, with all the everybody in the community, young, older, in between. Um, it was a blessing and and something I'm, I'm great, the great, my grateful for have them times there. But I mean, let's be honest, we, Paul. We, 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 we sit hungry days still in the mass. <laughs> hey, if we didn't have them days there, we wouldn't appreciate what we have now. So that's a fact. That's a fact. So, fact. so no, everybody needs to have some of them days. No, it's interesting to me. Yeah. And, you know, I always tell people, say, you know, like when people say, you ever hear two, two men argue and a man say, yo, how are you? A, a salt spring will come from, you know, Bridgen. Eh. Like, you know what I mean? Like, salt spring is the only place on earth where, you know, bad people come from or, you know what I mean? So, they always use them ghetto as a reference, I guess, to elevate or project themselves. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, for me, it imp it's, it's important for me speak to someone like you and I, I actually have like three or four other people from Mobile who in the United States that they do really big things including my son right so it's important for me to speak to people like such a, 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 as you who who really come from the gutter when I say you come from the bottom all right from the gutter <laughs> from the gutter <laughs> <laughs> all right but but yeah. but co yeah so now here we are in our green pan um yeah. we know we really were rudderless ships back in yeah, the time yeah, there. yeah right how now firstly you went to herbert marshall we're happy right. we cannot skip that we just wanted to go say say that cannot skip herbert marshall talk to me about the herbert marshall days a man hey let me tell you something I'm the bridesmaid <laughs> yeah we got we got a country 
I don't know. Herbert <laughs> Marsta, come from a God. Come from your God. The bridesmaid school in Amobia. Yeah, no, but go ahead. 1988, we have the, the, the <laughs> best D, D Cup side in our country at the time. We think we only lose one game. Uh, Jesus. Yeah, we man. Never stop here this All right. All right. Yes, sir. <laughs> Tanto Henry. I'm not have to say nothing else. Hector, me? right? D Cup champ now. Hector Hector just left. 1988. D -Cup, okay. D Cup champ with, with, with Mr. Whiteley as the, as the coach. D Cup, um, Nutriment Shield, and um, Ben Francis Cup champion. Yeah. Well, we got Jared mm -hmm. Park to watch. And, um, Come to tear off with the Russia and them face. Yes, we witness it with, with Mark Agla Wilson are doing best and can't take it. Feel a me? historical moment, man. But anyway, as a carnival, uh, and even me, I feel, I feel <laughs> admit that that was a historical moment, you know. Yeah, but um, kind of tying the questions together, Davi, like where we're coming from and, and where we are now. I think what we have as as Montagonians and Jamaicans is our educational system. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. That that is the foundation because um we think after after being in here and seeing it from elementary all the way up to tertiary level here and see and compare that to what we have in Jamaica. Jamaica the miles ahead. That's 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 I, I came to that conclusion years ago, my brethren. Years yes. ago. And, so, and um, you you work in the education system, so you have you yeah. have the perch and see this thing yeah, yeah, from, so, from the top down, you know? Yeah, when we had Jamaica, we say, yo, sir, this because I saw a refer to our, our teachers and teachers, Jamaica, yeah. Sir and miss. Miss, and yeah. Yeah. Yo, for, uh, anybody who go watch this, the you them like community, why no say? Yeah, I get world class. Education when they are Jamaica, something, something, something one we can build upon. So, here I know, Mugo, you are talking about icon. Mugo, give you a moment when me, when me in my classroom at Talakwa, Oklahoma, and I interact with my kids, and I can pull up my phone and I can WhatsApp a teacher at Jamaica, a teacher who, who. Make me know, say, yo, if possible, Bridget. And mm -hmm. guess how that? Same band from Green Pan, Errol Harton. Errol Harton. Yeah, man. Uh, pull, yeah, man. Yo, I pull up, I call him, strict call. Really? Yeah, man, and I'm a middle of my class, them. And I say, yo, you see this man? This man make me know, say, because him really influenced me for, for go college. Speaker for Icon, he, man. Yeah, man. So. No. Um, <laughs> no, hold on. We can't make a skip past the right so fast because and even there, geez, even there, uh, uh, uh when my classroom, t um, what you call it, what would I call a homeroom teacher? Yeah, at 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 Herbert Marson, he was so. I'm, he everyone was my English teacher. He was my English teacher as well. Everyone at Greenpan who had any interest in books, even if we still <laughs> have the road, have road in the back of our mind, and yeah, we're still out yeah. of road. But yeah. everyone who had an interest in any kind of academics had yeah. to come through Errol Hunt. But you know what I mean? Hear this. And I like say, we have an interest. We, we, we always we got school because we know, say, hey, Monday morning, September morning, you know what I mean? But what Errol did was pull something out of me and I didn't know something of. But yeah, I have no yeah. interest. None. Because I tell me, say, yo, Michael Teachers College. I interview for Michael's Teachers College. You know? Oh, really? See, because the third of, thing me the year when I never knew. Because of Errol Arden. And that not work out. Which leads me to this. I mean, as a big believer in this. The universe have a plan for you, my youth. And mm -hmm. I know so this may be a PG thing, but you don't need for the, the, the kiss up to anybody or bro nose to anybody. All you have to do is just keep... Just, just keep your head down and do, do your work, and the universe will reward you according to the work that you do. Yes, sir. So you're the first person. Yeah. Who give me a hint at that concept? And I'm gonna know if you know quietly. With in fact, I'm sure you know. Because in your mind, that's just how your brain function. Yeah. You remember this? Anything at all? What we come to you with? 
Yeah. Except why I call hungry also kill me. And you me give up, me lay down about a hundred different problems. <laughs> and at the end, you will sit down and listen intently. And you yeah. remember what your response always is? Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> you just say, yo, dog. Yo. You go, fuck it. it. Go work out, bro. Everything good. Yo. Everything go all right. Bridging. Yeah, you man. used to piss me off so much when I walk off of your man. So this blood. But Yo. it, it, it eventually the universe shows that bro, me, me think about them moments all the time with you, you know, man. I say, Yo, you cover the first man me here with that kind of mindset. They're like, Yo, don't worry about it, bro. I go, don't like to worry about it, no, Bridging. But I have, a, I have a vibe now looking back after we start put everything together. Because what, what we call me, I'm middle age now, I'm 48. Can't believe that. <laughs> and you start look back. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, look up one thing there. I say, yo, it no matter how, how, how bad it was or how bad it is, you always can find something. You know what I mean? And and you have some gurus out there now where they write books and them have them podcasts and based on that. Yeah, I mean I say, yo, what may I do? <laughs> but I, 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 my my thing is real organic. When I do mm -hmm. I try to get any kind of real thing, man. Yeah, I just I just we can attest to that and all of you in Rome, you can attest to that. You know what I mean? That mindset that we always have. Bro. Always, yo. But no. uh, yeah, yeah. So more and more back to your question with, with education, where we come from, what may I do right now. So mm -hmm. when we come up, when we come out, so since I've been here, um, I've connected a few other Jamaicans. Who come to university here, and they are like, maybe like four or five, which may not seem like a lot, but yeah. they've helped it, a lot of people, and those people have helped. So the the, 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 the web get bigger. Yeah. But, um. With all that, my my purpose now, with everything I'm doing, my purpose now. Obviously, I have to take care of my family. You don't know that guy already. Yes, but sir. Outside of that, we cannot forget where we're coming from we build bridges you know what i mean we stay connected we don't cut things off so i want to say my little community at green pond i want to do more for my community at green pond i want to do it through i start an organization well organization we start a thing where we coach kids outside of school yes we yes call, we call it full potential sports full potential sports yeah yeah so what that is like we use my um, expertise I'm gonna get from GC Foster, and we can break down the biomechanics of an athlete. No matter what sport, I may not be be the best basketball player, but I can watch and see. So you, see. your degree, Cole, yeah. because you're gonna push along the interview at a rapid pace, yeah. right? But your degree is in physical education, right? Come yeah, on, we go, we go to Mecca of physical education. GC Foster College spent three years here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. You believe. believe. But, 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 more, more, we go, we go far, that's in the next five minutes ago. But, yeah. We talk about Herbert Marston and Company. You see, more, because I don't want to skip no important step of the way in a Bridget. Yeah. We, as we said earlier, we're a bit rudderless. Yeah. Yeah. So, when me here say, uh, the, me remember the day when you come and tell me, say, yeah, God, GC faster. Well on. Me almost, well on. I, well on. Yeah. I almost thought it was a prank. Oh. Uh, <laughs> because, that, man, I said, you know, me never see that coming. No. All the GC, set up the whole GC faster move for me now. Well, after high school, I'm going to try my hand out at community college. Mm -hmm. Out of Comsi and I be a girl vibes and be a ball vibes. I'm going to pay attention to the classroom. So at the end, at the end of the first year, them ask me nicely enough to come back. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with it. See? I know your thing. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, my, my, my dream was architecture, building construction. Mm. So anyway, we we'll play a couple of years of a, 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 a ball uh, with you at um, Juniors. And defenders. Yeah. And 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 one of them did uh, we get injured. You remember um 
my name, he used to go to Cornwall College, left footed player, Brown Youth, um, Dingo. Dingo, yeah. Dingo? From Salem, yeah. From Salem. But now I forget, but I training one day and I jump and I got what we call buck a ball. I play defense, I but I clear it. And him I play midfield or what we are used to call link. <laughs> Linky, yeah. Yeah. And so we go in the opposite direction and we have a clash ahead. So um me have a me get a, a, a boss made right on my, my eye top right or so. Oh so, yes, you know me remember that. Yeah man, so after we get we get kind of stitched up or whatever it was on my, my yard and um I said, yo bridge, you can't live like this now. Something I forgot to change. And um remember prior to that, we got GC with Raga. Go look for Raga, Bridge and Raga Rooks. Yeah, Raga. Integral part of the yeah. development. Raga said, Yo, we got GC where are they? I come through, I look for Gina. So I said, Yeah, I some know so GC exists because my ends out. I have nothing now going at the time. I'm going to follow Bridge and got GC first. I'm going to walk on the campus and we say, Ball feel. Felt feel right. Um, everybody, everybody was wearing like athletic gear. I mean, I said, well, I know what is college. And then I said, mm. yeah, man. So, but then the things are more good. But after the injury. Right. I, Gina was in GC at the time too, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes for real. Yes. So anyway, after the injury, I mean, I said, yo, man, I have to do something. Back to what we talk about the universe. That day, we will go visit Gina. And then really, for Gina, that I just, the universe, I show me, say, yo. This place exists. This is it. Yeah. Yeah. So after I'm injured now, I me apply. What look out, look on the one too. Me apply for the job for the um for getting to GC. So them say, all right, you have to come in and with your subjects and thing. I may only have subjects because of Errol Art. Encourage me to do that. You see that? Gina's brother. Gina's well, big man, brother. Yeah, better than that. I'll show you. I'll show you. So I don't know, I don't know nothing about. But oh, the application process. Me just feel say go up there and get in. So I'm go up there and them take in our room and then you have to write an essay. You hear me, sir, brother? You have mm -hmm. to write an essay. And the question was, why do you want to become a teacher? <laughs> Wait, yes. who's the number one teacher? All right. <laughs> I think say, I'm going to play some ball and get a certificate and I'm going to be a coach and I'm going to come here somewhere. Yeah. So, no, I don't forget. When I see the essay, I get a real battle package because Errol Arden, as my English teacher, prepared me well. Mm -hmm. And teach me the process of, yo, or you, you put a thing together. Intro. Yeah. And even, I make it up. You feel me? Because mm -hmm. he, he equipped me with them skills there. Yeah, man. All right, watch this. Remember Kenrick Picknight? Of course, goalkeeper. Picknight, I mean, at the same English class I come from. Mm -hmm. Picknight was an excellent writer. Every time he writes stories or whatever, Picknight, I'm always, I said, what my class, boy, Picknight beat me again. <laughs> yeah, man, Picknight. Yes. One of the motivator. Not in a bad way. You know, envy him or jealous. We always want to be right. He, yeah, right. He, he, he drive you to excellence. Yeah. So yeah. the day when when we go go me write the, the, the essay at GC first, I mean, no, I said I, it game over because I don't know question if we can write. And again, back to the educational process at Jamaica, it sets you up to be successful if you be patient yeah. and use it. If you apply it, ah, if you have mm -hmm. to apply, it. you feel me? So. Anyway, me, me get in and and yo, again you surround yourself. Remember, Raga Raga tell me, come here, say Raga, why you think if I go to school again? And Raga say, yo, Bridgen, if me could I go to school right now, me go do it. So why not? Why and not? I always have friends who encourage me to do nothing but positive. True. All my friends, then. as much as we laugh at each other, you know what I mean? No, the general banter <laughs> amongst friends, but yes. but the one thing we can tell you. But because Uno make me I must say me consider Uno. People use that phrase day one lose. <laughs> uno, I'm a day one. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like and there's one thing me can give Uno. Um uh, you know, Uno, uno kudos for. If 
any one of it. Yeah. Think say. Yeah. We go pick up badness round each other. No. We make a sad mistake. Yeah. Because yeah. there will be a group meeting. <laughs> more like over my yard. <laughs> and we go confront it over yeah. a glass of Appleton and Coca-Cola. Well, I went Pepsi them time. <laughs> right? So, 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 cool. yeah. all right. Yeah. So, what you know, bro? Yeah. GC faster. Yeah, man. man. You Tell do the thing. Yeah, well, yeah. you here's the thing. You get yeah. in and yeah. you do your thing called the Wallaby Pro that you uh, yeah, uh, and rare, rare, rare. But we, uh, we anxiously uh, wait now for you come back home to we because remember <laughs> saying no, the click, the click yeah, one I, shot. Yes, I. Hey, let me tell you that thing. One Next the, thing we know, this. scholarship company table. Yeah. What we threw that now, no, man? All right. So education is a wonderful thing. And um, the more you learn, and the more you want to learn. Yeah. Remember, I'm telling you, it started out as more just get GC Fast have, at the time had three programs. You have a certificate program, you have a diploma program, and you have a degree program. Mm. And um, certificate in two years, so I say, I that may I deal with them. I'm not on time for the full year. <laughs> <laughs> See? So going and the experience was so tremendous. And a whole heap of growth take place. And I say, no, uh, let me just go back after the two years. And it uh -huh. was while, and it was while I was in the process of getting the diploma. The first year into it, the friends get rec recruited to all Roberts. And then <clears throat> we just jump out and ask about the, the thing. And yes. We, we come at, um we come at the, the college gym, NSU. But check this. When we come at NSU, they might tell me, say, them don't know about GC faster. So my transcripts, really? my transcripts was them, although me get him, I qualified to get him, but the, the, the classes didn't transfer because they've never had anybody from that school. Them don't know about it. So in a way, I was a pioneer. So I have yeah, to send, send, yeah. My, send my transcripts. Watch this. I have to pay to send my transcripts to get evaluated. By a clearinghouse in the, in, the, in America, and then when send it back to Northeastern and say, "All right, I'm good to go." Yeah, that happened to me too. And so, so because of that, every other Jamaicans will come here. Them good because them use me <laughs> as uh, yeah, yeah, the no. You know I mean? <laughs> so Listen, anyway, yeah. Well, on it, stick up in the yeah. bridge. So, me remember. When I when I was going to um to Maryland State Police, right? Mm -hmm. They wanted some transcript from a high school, etc. Yeah. And any um any other you know school tertiary level school me do in Jamaica. No okay. gear you. you don't know, sir. The same way, even my high school um high school transcript transcript oh. had to go through a clearing house to here. Yeah. I never understand it, but I know come college can't find me not then I no record of me attending. You know? <laughs> come college has no record of me attending the two year one me do, Master. And you know, me feel bad for my mother because <laughs> and my mother went go if you can look it for me and, and then I tell her I say her son never come. I'm not come to school, that's the like, <laughs> You understand? But yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> you know what? It's not even funny, bro, but it's funny. What yeah. I know, bro? Yeah, we can move with that. Yeah, so now you're in um you're, you're at NSU. Yeah, Northeastern State. We play on a soccer scholarship. However, yeah. it is important <laughs> to recognize that on a football alone make you get that scholarship. No. Your work your academics had to be on point and this is a very important thing for a lot of um you know young people coming up, coming up to high school now with talent because even you and i have had an, a personal experience with us trying to get a young man into a school out there yeah. and the academics just never add up yeah. you know what i mean so yeah, listen right. real quickly speak speak you can't speak enough about that how, how important it is because let me give the, the viewers a bit of context yeah. This man that you're looking at on your screen right now, not me, Greg Hall, <laughs> Coach Greg Hall. Yes, I. He 
has afforded a lot of opportunities, even if not at his personal school or at his own personal level. He has, through his network, has afforded a lot of opportunities to Jamaicans that I have recommended to him personally and other people have. In yeah. fact, my own son, Chad, yeah. came to college as a result of your, your you know, own you. diligence. Yeah. You know, which we have to give thanks for that too, you know what I mean? Yeah. So speak about speak about the, the importance of education, bro. It's in terms of getting into it and kicking off these doors overseas. It's everything because you, you may not want to do it at the time. No discipline. Nobody wants to be disciplined. But if you're trained by it, you'll reap the rewards. Um mm -hmm. and and yo again. My education I come all the way from Miss Miller. <laughs> Yo, right? the school man. Miss Miller. Miss Miller basic school. All right, then we got then we got Chetwood. Chetwood Memorial, surrounded by Mount Alvernia and Cornwall College. Um, and we got Chetwood and I see people over over Mount over Mount Alvernia prep. And yeah. the beacon and the hill across yeah. from you, Cornwall yeah, College. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, things so. can we just say that, please, sir? And you, you, as a Chetwood <laughs> student, you were yeah. able to look at the beacon on the hill, literally. Yeah, man, Colonel man. College. Oh, all right. On a serious note, we, we, we go back to education for all the youngsters. Yes. Them, we are to, we remember the days of a, a, a common entrance exam. Mm. Seeing, and we go go back to that. I'm gonna tie back into one of your previous guests, Warren Barrett. Mm -hmm. So when um when I might when my turn to take common entrance, we take it twice. The first time obviously wasn't successful. And my yeah. first choice, my first choice was Conwell College because of my brother Edward Hall. Rest in peace, Eddie. Yeah, Edward uh, yeah, man. at the time I live at Glendavan with Eddie and my other, my other side of the family. And when Eddie passed, <clears throat> Eddie Pass and the yard, a big night commotion in the yard. Car, them time you name a commotion, a cleaner paper. Remember? Yeah, and, yeah. I yeah. don't know if them still do that. With, with it's been a while, but remember Eddie and Warren Barrett Pass who got come for God. Yeah. And then we don't know. Yo, I'm really glad. I'm glad to say I'm not got Carnival. I'm glad all the universe lead me. Herbert Morrison, but to, your be honest, but, but to be honest, as a as a kid at, at Chetwood, and in the evening you walk up a Cornwall and they say, yo, that place here feel different. Cornwall College. Cornwall College. Yeah, man, yeah. this year at the sea there, you learn how you have to go left. Yes. And that 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 yeah stood I mean, the test of time. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, but we got compre. Hold on, we got compre, and then we get a fabulous education. Uh, yeah, to none. So then prepare me for go uh, GC first. I could I write the essay like me say, and then when we, when we come after that, when we come out at NSU, I me see the work where they get at a university level. I me say, hold on, smile. I eat this. I bought the <laughs> catch. But yeah, it, no, no, <laughs> no, watch this. The the whole education thing is just is just a, a formality. The the key is being able to get them tools where you learn through education and then applying it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So mm -hmm. you go walk into some room, you have to represent yourself well, you have to speak well. I want thing in a bridge. When I talk about man and one person want to talk about, oh your chat body. No, I'm proud of the way we talk. You feel me? Yeah, 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 true. Yeah. You always call me and say that too, you know. Say so you you Pro. kill them with part two out there. Yeah, so here, mm -hmm. here, here, people used to say to me, Oh, you're from Jamaica. You 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 write really well. And I say, Of course, we English wow. is your language. You you you've got good command of the yeah, that's my language. And mm -hmm. we can attribute that to all the hours and time we spent in a, from Chetwood to, to, Compre. to Compre to GC Foster. Yeah. You know what I mean? No. <clears throat> so, hold on, I'm going to answer your question. But 
the youth, them, anybody who this may reach, you have to put yourself in a position to be successful. And if once you have them thing there, your education, then the world is the limit. Opens up, yeah? Yes, yeah, sir. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, so, NSU, football yeah. scholarship. Yeah. By some miracle, yeah. you get a football scholarship. Call. <laughs> we, get, we get better than that. We get better than No, football. hold on. No, we, that's where we are, though. Because yeah. the better than that progressively came. Yeah. Right? But yeah. And the, the bare bones of it is you get a, a football scholarship. Yeah, man. And, Legendary you know, stuff. I want to tell us a virgin. <laughs> a jubilation. Yeah. Monk I and I, because we feel like, you know, like when once somebody escape off of the plantation and they, and they run feet, yeah, and we just say, go on! Go on, Ruthie! <laughs> <laughs> but you know, but you know, all jokes aside, bro. Yeah. All jokes aside. Yeah. What was that transition though? You spoke about it earlier. Yeah. From Green Pan and, and then remember, say, hold on. Remember, say you said you used to travel even before yeah. that. You're yeah. one of the first youth, myself included, where yeah. the fly from out of the ghetto. And when yeah. we come back, we feel like we are king and done. And everybody get around in the trash to go out, play and see. Look, we don't want to steal out, <laughs> you know. You know, you understand. <laughs> so, yo, that's a different, that's a different deal. But, go so now hey. you're out at Tahlequah, yeah, Oklahoma, yeah. Just many of you will talk about the sporting life and edit the school life, just yeah. the transition and adapting to that environment. What was that like for you? Hey, that was. August 10th, 2001. 2001? Yeah, August 10th. Wow. Um, social media wasn't around. Cell phones weren't as uh, mm -hmm. common. You know, I mean, remember still a guy, pay phone. Pay phone, yeah. Pay phone, yeah. yeah I remember doing that. The food was terrible. Um, winter come, I you know, have the right gear. I mean, <laughs> yeah, but, because you do get winters out there, no? Yeah, we get blistering winters, man. So, yeah. um, the, the 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 summer, the, the the fall, what you call the fall, and I come here, it was hot, and we have to train. But one thing, we come in in shape, one thing, and 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 sports, sports was the reason why the transition was so easy it was easy for oh, okay me. okay because um on the team at the time we had dudes from england we have we have a south african assistant coach a white man i'm gonna tell you a story about that and we have a, a head coach who's from um scotland and we have a we have a japan we have japanese players we have a oh. Dutch player Multicultural. So my locker room was kind of like a um, United Nations. Nations, yeah. And the common thread was soccer, of course. And believe it or not, it's like we speak the same language. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We, we used to make fun of the way oh, everybody said the word water. <laughs> you know I mean, the difference where we can say it. But um, that that's what made it easy. And then, David, remember me tell about the universe? Man, go tell that story the other day. Yeah. Just, just give me a minute. I'm going to show you a thing. The, the whole reason I think this happened was because of 1998 with Rene Simoyes when we wow. went to the World Cup. Talk to me, the man. So, <clears throat> the school of go, Northeastern, they made a conference at the time named Lone Star Conference. I'm going to play a school named um, West Texas AM. West Texas have two black dudes on the team from, from Trinidad. So you don't know how sports go. We have to keep up yeah. with the Joneses. And them two dudes, they went fast and real athletic and, you know what I mean, do them thing well. So our coach was like, yo, we need some talent from the Caribbean. And Jamaica was hot at the time. In yeah, 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 yeah. Right? World Cup, yeah. Yes, yes. So oh, sugar. That, that's oh, that's one of the reasons coach was really 
not just because, it, first of all, you have to be able to qualify academically, but athletically, you must say, yo, we have to be on point with everybody else. So I'm yo, coming. yeah. Can uh, I say, let me say something to you real quick, Bridget. Yeah. yeah. Because my mind, <laughs> my mind is is like a a, a lint remover, you know, Bridget. Mm. It, it just picks up on stuff, bro. When they're supposed to be in the purview. Yeah. You hear what you just said, Bridget? Yeah, man. What? I... You said. Yeah. Because of the the acclaim that Jamaica gained yeah. through the World Cup. Yeah. It indirectly provided an opportunity yeah, man. for you. Yeah, that you probably would not have had had Jamaica not made this qualification. Now, no. hold on the call. <laughs> Two weeks ago, there was a big uproar. I don't know if you hear it in you know, the Jamaican space, the football space. Yeah, man. I mean, of course not. With yeah. with with Leon Bailey. Yeah. And modern day <clears throat> Walter Boyd. Yes. Whether <laughs> you agree with him or not, a lot of people are go, go either way with that with it. He yeah. said something that I did not agree with. And here it comes right back again. Hmm. He alluded to the fact, he never said, so this is my interpretation of it. So, him, him, well, he said Jamaica and do nothing for him. A him had do something for Jamaica. Yeah, no. So, he alluded to the fact that he's bigger than the program. No. And you hear what you, I'm not even going to respond to that directly, but just go say, listen to what you just say. Hold well, on. We got to add to that. So, when at the time, so 298 happened, Jamaica go do them thing, Theodore Whitmore do them thing, Shorty Malcolm, we can't name mm -hmm. it. Anyway, so we come as a now, and well, we train fit, fit. We never been more fit than my life or, or since. Because <laughs> you come in, you know what I mean? Yeah. So anyway, um, we go up on the road. The first road game we go play for Northeastern was in Kansas City. Yeah, Kansas City. So we go travel upon a charter bus. Nice big fat charter bus. Mm -hmm. remember, remember being at GC Foster College. <laughs> and, and, um, the only teams that traveled on a charter bus was the national team the regular boys the time remember remember the Panama minivan <laughs> before highway 2000 and the big boss to the regular boys i shot you i said general star regular you know boys. yeah and you, you, you imagine what i feel like david yes right yeah imagine at that time the rene samoys i say yo we have to feed the players right we have to make sure they have the right health care we have to yes. treat them this. I mean, I, I mean, I look upon them as I, mean, I say, yo, kings. Well, what I have to do with conversation? We go play at Kansas City. And um, we go down at the locker room. And when we look, it's a charter bus bridging. <laughs> right? Well, on, I mean, I know, I, mean, I tell you my experience. Yeah. Say, yo, it's a charter bus, man, ride right, Panga game. In my mind, just men. This is an all me operation. Yes, yes. A, a national player, top man. Yeah, but center big, half too. Anyhow, go ahead. Bigger than that. Bigger than that. So I go up on the bus, and um, go up all the way down the back. And this now have nothing to do with any kind of racial thing. It's just real mm. smart. Mm -hmm. Back bench at the bench seat. It's longer, you get it to yourself, you can lay down. And because me, me, I'm one of these only black man on the team, I'm yeah. sure comfortable. So I'm sitting there stretching out, and our head coach got on the bus and he's walking down the aisle, just visual checking, checking everything. Yeah, and he must say, Yo, you're good, you have everything you need, you eat right, you sleep good. And he walk all the way up, down, and back up to theme seat. And the driver turned to him and said, Coach, are we ready? And the coach turned and looking down the aisle again and said, All right, let's go. Captain. Watch this. Me that back of the bus and I said, Yo, I wonder what that what that what I feel like for be the dude. 
So you you already project yourself into that seat. Any anyway, go ahead. No, I didn't know. I didn't know. I just saw me. I said, yeah, I wonder what I feel like. In the back of your brain, subconsciously, you did do. Yeah, yeah. So um, fast forward, maybe. Let's see. This was 2010. I was at my job for like four years, and um, it was August again. And the community where I live, the high school and the college, then I see him spot five minutes away. And I was doing something. Hey, one more thing you never know. I was an assistant volleyball coach. <laughs> okay, yeah. hold on. Anyway, so I was at the game, and our athletic director called me and said, Greg, need need you to come see me in my office when you come back. So in this business, you start wonder. Did you make a parent mad? Yeah. What happened? You know, this is just so we are. I used to be. You just automatically think the negative, think the worst. Mm -hmm. But we shouldn't. So anyway, finally meet up with my AD and he must say, yo, I have something to tell you. He said, the college fired their head coach before the season started. It was like a week away from the season. He said, all right, cool. And then want you to become the head coach. Hold on. So where were you? You were working at the college or you were at the high school? I'm at the high school now. So this is a college that you went to, right? Yeah. yeah. But you were still working as an assistant with them. No, oh, I did, but I've graduated. You, you finished with them. Yeah, done I'm at the high school. The concentrate and your physical instructor job at this the physical yeah. education teacher job at the high school. Yes, that's and the, the the athletic the girls, director from the, the college yeah. call you up and say, "Tap no, man, come see me." Hold on, the AD, my AD at the high school, call you. Yeah, I said, "Come see me," because oh. because the AD from the college want has me. been fired. No, they fired the the soccer coach at the college. Okay, and they want me. To be the interim guy for the season before the, to the season. college, yes, 2010. So, man, I said, Well, on talk to me there. Want to want to my job here, and then we say, Yo, no, watch nothing, man. We can't deal with that. We make we make it work. So, I said, What the principal say? Mm -hmm. the principal said, Greg, that's a great opportunity. Good luck. We'll make it work. So, I come to come to the high school in the mornings. And then afternoon, we're going to have training at the college. Wow. But I'll tell you all this to tell you, for show you what. I'm going to show you something. So, all right, Greg, you're going to be the head coach for the, the Northeastern State men's soccer program for a year. Um, we got it. We have, a, we have an assistant, who was a graduate assistant. He's doing a really good job, get everything together while I'm at school here. In yeah. The managing thing. Well, first game was a place called Laredo, Texas. Laredo, yeah. Laredo is a border, border um, town. Town. You there at the hotel and you see the big old Mexican flag right out the window. But that that's not the, 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 the big point for me. The big point is the day it's a it's like a ten hour trip, and um, we go down at the we go down at the, the locker room. Everything parked on the bus. They're waiting for me. So the I, big guy. Yeah. Yeah. We pull up, park. Boom, boom, boom. The seat was open. Put my stuff down. And just just like a, like intuitively, we start walk down the aisles. Checking everything. I make sure it's everybody good. <laughs> I mean. And then we're gonna sit down. Wow. I'm going, I'm driving, I'm going, I see it. And the driver turned to me and said, Coach, are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> yo, yo, Davy, call bomb, take me. Yo, that's a that bro. Just, you feel me? So, what I said is, you see, once you can't, you can't. Think about it. Once you can dream it, imagine it. It can happen. But but with that said, 
you're not going to just happen. You got to you have to do the work. Apply yourself. Yep. But you're not doing it for, because you want to get recognized by anybody. You just But that's it. why you see that's yeah. why earlier I said when you saw that. <laughs> yeah. Subconsciously you file it away. Yeah. Yeah. You need to think to yourself, so boy, all right, at this moment, but you no. subconsciously file that away. Yeah. So Co, that's a good that's a good step because <laughs> let's let's push it along, right? Yeah. So you you you, you reach a Talikwa or Oklahoma. Yeah, man. You hey, do your 22 years. 22 years. It's yeah. amazing. And in that 22 years, like I say, you've become an imprint in the community, started a family, yeah, you man. know, and 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 you see, you, 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 you have me jump all over the place now. Your first born. I'm not sure you how rooted this bridging is. A rooted Indian says so for a reason. In first born, Kingston. You, his name is Kingston. Yeah, man. Now, one would imagine, me don't know what I call him Green Pan. However, we're going to forgive you for that. We're going to well, forgive you for that, Rudy. I'm going to tell you why we call him Kingston. My wife, Um, she, when we met her, like when 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 you come to Oklahoma and you're from Jamaica, you're like a rock star. Yes. Quite honestly. And everybody is like, ooh, can you say this? Can you say that? But I was offended by that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because I'm not a puppet. I'm not like a a a, a. Sure piece. No. So when I met my wife, Jamie, she was just chill. Okay, I saw you from Jamaica. So what? Cool. <laughs> you know I mean? Humbly, eh? Yeah, man. And we just, we just organically build a, a nice relationship, and we're cool like that. So, yeah, one two happen, and we we'll have a kid, and she said, "I'd like to call him Kingston." When we go, said no. Yo, that's, that's a very big compliment within you itself, bro. Say, yo, you see, Davi? Yeah, man. Stay connected. You yeah, man. Yeah, so King. That's amazing, sir. So Jamie even thought about that and Jimmy said, "Yo, that. this one we want." So kudos yeah. to Jamie, yo. Yeah, man. Jamie, go on good. You know, see it. Um, we have a second. What? No, no. Yeah, go ahead. It, so, more uh, jump now. So you know, we deal with the playing career yeah. as a as, as a as a college baller. Yeah. Right. And you know, you say you started working at the high school, and now you yeah. jump into coaching. Yeah. Now I remember. I remember. Yeah. You coaching a girls team. I don't know if it was a high school or the college. High school. I did. High, high school, school girls school. team. Twelve years I coached a girls team. And um, I remember. Yo, one thing with the Virgin I tell us, sir, you're one of the most positive Virgin men know because the team. You would tell me. You would say, "Boy, Davy." You need to fly come out there one day because <laughs> we go we need to do some work with me. You know, see it. Yeah. Because you were saying the team did not have no. you with me? Yeah man, I'll show you a thing. I'll show you a thing. I have them panel, I know we can't get them off. You see this? Yeah man. Yeah. And team Bring it up closer to the camera, Paul. We used to coach this team. And That's a girls team, right? At the time, yeah. And this is a team we met the playoff for the first time with this team. You you cannot just jump to the playoffs, bro. <laughs> but I have to tell the people them. Yeah, man. How I don't want to say poor or bad, but yeah. it never it wasn't a good team. No, it wasn't. Didn't have a great record. Actually, no. didn't have a record. <laughs> <laughs> no, I remember the first game, the first district game. And um, them have this this ten ten goal run rule. They call it. If you're uh -huh. by, if you're down by ten or you're up by ten, even if, even if it's ten minutes in the game, game over. Yeah. Yo, we play this school and um, we get beat eleven to one. <laughs> so after the game, I, my Eddie at the time said, "Greg, nice job." <laughs> I man, I said, "Yo, what do you mean? Nice, <laughs> nice job." I said, "At least you guys scored." <laughs> yo, I said, "Yo, great job." No, that's terrible, bro. That's yeah, terrible, but, bro. But what we do again? We run from the challenge. 
We get mm -hmm. to a point, we get to a point, David, where when the girls travel, when we go play games, we were expected to win. To, yeah. And if we didn't, like yo, what what go wrong? Yeah. So I I think because um, the opportunity I had to coach at the college level was directly connected to the coach and the girls. High school team. Getting them from where they were to the eventual being a, a, a quality competitive team. So yeah, man, and that's the that... moment. So mm -hmm. I should have known this, but I didn't. I learned some lessons. You learn a lot from your students. And as a teacher, you're expected to be the one giving info. But it's a communication team. And you are supposed, you should be able to listen as well and learn as mm -hmm. well so you can give them quality info. Well, I remember coaching the girls and we this team, we had like however many shots, blah, 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 were dominating. And what we weren't getting the job done. We dominated, we couldn't finish or whatever it was. And I got in the locker room and um, I'm telling them, yo, this team is doing this, this team is doing that. And this girl politely put her arm up and said, okay, coach, they're doing X, Y, Z. How do we fix it? That's what she asked me. <laughs> and I, but I was like, ooh. So since then, this was... This was about how long ago was this, Cole? Talk to me. This was like 2010, 2011, maybe. But Yo. that moment, I was like, damn. Transformational, eh? So since then, since then, 2011, every time I coach, halftime, goalkeepers. I should have known this. I didn't. But goalkeepers, da da da, left back, right back, centre half, midfield, wingers, strikers, everybody. You know what I mean? So you can, <laughs> yeah. Um, I, no. I, I, I was, I've gotten more patience than I've ever had before. But it's, 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 it's the journey, you know. It's, it's, it's the journey, and and a lot of people say, "Boy, it's not the journey; it's a destination." But the popular, the, the 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 most, the most pregnant statement in all of that is: it's the journey. It's, it's really yeah. about the journey, because yeah. all right, I'm gonna share something. Let me correlate something real quick. Yeah. Um, me used to get a lot of calls. Me not seen now what, about twenty years ago. It's been a minute. Physically, like me not really see up up per, close. Yeah. Probably in about twenty years. Yeah. And a lot has happened in like twenty years, you know. Yeah, and there was a point in time when people would call me and they would say, this and this are happened. Yeah. Yo, such and such, do this, such and such, do that, out of the ghetto, out of the community. Yeah. And you see what you just said? It's so important, Bridget. Yeah. Because I would literally, generally say to them, I am not interested in the problem. I'm interested in how we can solve this. Yeah, man. Now you wouldn't believe, I you wouldn't believe how many, how many situations, you know what I mean? We kind of calm down, based on that very principle what you just said. Yeah, man. Let's deal with the solution. Okay, if we go spend one night on the, on the problem. Yeah. You that see? It will happen. And yes. It will happen. But how you fix them is up. Well, yeah. No, so, so go, I want to push it along real quick because we had initially said 45 minutes, but oh, why? Right. With their hour down, hour three. Damn. So I want to I wanna do this in the next 10 to 15 minutes. And <laughs> metal, we could talk all night, but of course, you know, we have we have things to do. Um, your coaching career, per yeah. se, yeah. which you have now not just transformed some high school girls who are literally getting beaten and praised if they score one goal. Yeah, man. You have, you have now expanded out into the community within which yeah. you live. Yeah. Speak to me about that now, now how you have brought the community along in, 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 with, your, with your company. What's it called again? Full Potential Sports. Yeah. Um, it's more than Speak sports. to me about that, please. That's more than sports. Talk so, to me. Um, the, the, that started because I was in my, in the sixth, in the, 
middle school and a part of the process of turning the girls program around was and I identify that um, there wasn't any kind of like the athleticism was was dull. So mm -hmm. we have to improve that. So I, I provided an opportunity where kids could come and train. And it wasn't it, it wasn't a monetary deal. It's just something, yo, it's a service that was needed. Right? So mm -hmm. we start to do that. And then parents reached out to me in the summertime. Hey, can you do this? Can you do that? So all right, cool. My time is valuable. So they started paying me, you know, middle class. <laughs> of course. Half um one kid, two kid. But in looking back, there's, there's this dad, and um, his son just signed with a um, top power five school for football. I want, and um, the dad just said, "Hey, Greg, can you coach? Can you do some one-on-one -on -one stuff with him?" And I was like, "Yo," <laughs> I was hesitant, put it that mm -hmm. way. But after. A couple of sessions, and the dad come back to me and say, "Yo, big difference. Thank you, dad, dad, dad." But to me, it wasn't nothing. And yeah, you're like, yeah, I said, really? <laughs> but you can't see your significance. Somebody else see it. So somebody see something that I couldn't see. Yeah. So anyway, I, I kept doing that for a while, and then um, people. Even last week, I've gotten emails and text messages about possible doing some stuff so so the the, the comp so full front uh, full, full, potential. full potential sports you yeah. your um the the crux of what you do is to improve the athleticism yeah to bring of, give them well it started as just sports but right there was just one particular day when um this kid came in and he said coach I, i'm tired can't do nothing and I said to him, you have homework? And he said, yeah. And I go, all right, get your stuff out. Have a seat. Get your books. And then it dawned on me. Hold on. This thing. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yes. Yeah, this thing is more. So um, back to GC Foster. GC Foster, the, 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 the motto is a sound mind in a sound body. So you have to be balanced. Mm -hmm. So you can't just focus on one thing. So anyway, yes, that continued to grow, um, which here lately I want to transition what I'm doing here to where I'm coming from. My goal is to do the stuff that I'm doing here back in my community. I agree. You've always said that. You've always said that for yeah. real. Not not for recognition, just because it's not about me. It's no, just so you know, people. This yeah. a man we call me. Some man we call me at one o'clock at night. You know, <laughs> this other man of a million ideas. Yeah, you remember that. <laughs> and this man could literally call me and say, "Yo, what do you think about it? Me know you always say, yeah, what, what kind of foolishness this, this, this no year come up with Ruthie, but either one yeah. So over the over the years, this man has come up with probably about a hundred and fifty three. Point five ideas. My, my, my but ambition. hold on the call. Let me let me yeah, give this sorry. let me give this 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 big ups. Yeah, it's it's almost like every idea that this man has come up with somehow Green Pan and Moby has been central <laughs> in That's these true. ideas. You That's know true. what I mean? I may applaud the bro for that and commend you. So. F full potential sports still active, still are doing a thing, and yeah, still that provides resources to the community. And yeah. I know you have gotten some recognition from the community too for your years of quote unquote service that you've done there. Isn't that so? Yeah, hold on. Like so, um, I've I've been trying. To, I've I've done a little bit more where I do speaking engagements now. Yes. So um, I was able to work with the College of Education within the university and um, share my story and share some of the, 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 the tricks, per se, of how to transition from a college student to a, the real world, to the teachers, some of the stuff that I've used that worked for me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So um, 
I've been, I've been, I reached out to them and they say, hey, absolutely, come through. So I've been doing that. And so you, um, you, you, you are, you are circuit speaker now, Massa. Um, in it, I've, I'm laying the foundation for that. <laughs> you know, uh, I'm a thing to talk to you every week. <laughs> yeah, man. And, um, you know, listen, yeah. I must say this. <laughs> I don't know if you wanted me to for, for say this, but you know, you know, me turn more, more say it anyway. Congratulations, bro. Um, you, I know you just interviewed for the vice principal role yeah. at your institution. Yeah. And you're not, you're not even going to look for it and then invite you to do it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And um, we already know the outcomes of it. Yeah. But, you know, just so you know, bro, just the fact that, you know, someone saw it That's the part. in you. Yeah. If you say, yo, we think you do well at this in the bridge. Bridget, let me tell you something. That my oath, I it's a respect, Bridget. Respect. You know, see it. This isn't yeah, the man. first time though. I've interviewed before, but I've got I've built a network. I've networked with a bunch of people. This over 20 years of doing this. You meet people. Mm -hmm. So I've put on I've I've organized seminars with 30 coaches. Five mm -hmm. Five consecutive years before um, COVID. Wow. Yeah. So I'll I'll invite the coaches, and then we'll go to the university, and the college, the coach there will do a seminar. What I've organized. Okay. So um, I've been asked to interview for jobs before, and I I interview because I respect the people who recommended me. Right, and I and I also know that in addition to that, you are also <laughs> embarking now on improving, not just you know yourself academically. Yeah, but you have a an objective. Yeah, um, in in personal development. Yeah, and social development. Yeah, man. Um, again. It's just come, it's an organic deal. My experiences have allowed me to learn a whole bunch of stuff. And by and doing it over and over, you, you realize I can offer more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and I just don't want to offer more. I want to offer more to my community. Because going back home a couple of times, it's it's not the same as it used to be. Not like yeah. it should be the same, but I want to show my the, 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 my people, yo, this is possible. Mm -hmm. and, and this is why we're using the conduit also for sure. That yeah, this is possible, and and my my um, I think my success wasn't through um, narcotics or any other illegal thing. It was just through education. Where is the You never chop? No. Okay. All right, let's go. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so I want to say, yo, everything everything that I'm doing here, I want to do it there. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, man. That makes complete sense, bro. And, and you're setting the framework and the groundwork for that. But, so go, go ahead, my bro. But... um. It's gonna take a little bit more organization and any help we can get from the community at large. And the community doesn't have to be Green Park, it could be the entire Jamaica. Just yeah. imagine full potential sports. Boom, we're doing camps over the island. So you're literally saying right now, if anyone is watching this in the organization, sporting, academic, a yeah. vocational social um yeah. body in Jamaica are the diaspora that's watching this. Yes. And who would love to get reach out to you as for some kind of collaborative effort. That's exactly it. They can get to you at full potential sports. Now yeah. how do they get to you? Ruth? Well I'm on the so social media, the worldwide web worldwide wasteland. Yeah, these started. internets. <laughs> <laughs> so um my my um email address fullpotentialsports at gmail.com 
that's that's Simple. the best. Yeah. Full potential sports at gmail.com. Yeah. And email. And yeah, man, him answer emails. <laughs> him answer emails, guys. This man is a man where yeah, he's man. a you know is that the, kind of man diligent. So the world speaks, so you have to speak the language. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. So you know David, call, listen to me. Go ahead. Listen to me. Yeah. My affi package up everything in a one thirty seconds here. I understand. I will have so much more would I like to no, say. No, there's listen, this doesn't have to be a one day conversation. Yeah. Because there's there's so many other plans that I have for the, this platform. This platform is not just be an interview platform. Yeah. Because starting next year, well, next season, I'm going to be presenting a football, a soccer thing where we where we 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 do analysis and and things of games and pre-game analysis and all of these kind of things. So this is something that I love to have you on. This is this is why it's, it's called, this is a TV, because I want to have four or five different segments, you know, with the politics, the interview segment, the sporting segment, you know, stuff like that. So have, there's a whole vision for this. So this doesn't have to be a one-off conversation. Um, but for the viewers, I wanted to present this bridging tonight as an example of Uno can make it. <laughs> Uno can do it, not care what your circumstances, not care which part you live, not care where you come from, not care your background, because we can tell us uh, we the foul from the dirt. From and the this, this, this gentleman here, bro, is a perfect example of some muddy way you don't things about the boy as ah, ah, the demon. You know, yeah. me not think you know the history of my coming up. Me not think me cost more somebody than this man. You know what I mean? And it probably it's it's, it's it was prophetic because me, probably me cost him because me know say there's way better than I'm. Me not know. Aaron just went tougher did. Me not know. Like but this is an example, bro. Right. This is a bro, an example of, of of diligence, as him say, and recognizing. Say there is a bigger picture ahead of you. You yeah. know what I mean? So Carl, I don't know if you want to just say something in a wrapping here where everybody can relate to and hang on to going forward. Hey, um, there's so much more I'd like to say, but we have limited time. But instead of worrying about problems, find a solution. <laughs> Find the solutions. I mean, Find the solutions. And also, you all it takes is one person. Just help, just help one person, and then that person will help someone else. And it, it Domino goes. effect, yeah. Yeah, but um, again, my goal is to make sure that my start with my community at Green Palm. We give back. Yeah, we have to give back for it for the kids that are there. That's what I'm trying to do next. That's my next move. Yes, sir. I'm putting that in the universe. And we can't we can't finish this interview without we plug your mother because you're a one son, you know. <laughs> Panzi. Panzi yeah, one boy. Yeah, Panzi, man. one boy. Yeah. You know, so we have to big up mummy, Mama Panzi. Yeah, man. You know, and that whole, you know, me know I had a front row seat yeah. to all you were raised, bro, and the efforts that this mother put into you. Hey, of course. Your mom's hug and your mom's kisses and your mom's love is is um unconditional and that's there, that's a given. Yeah. We feel it every day. Remember, Fanzi used to take me to the Pelican Grill for my birthday. <laughs> but we got to the Pelican Grill <laughs> and we couldn't afford anything else but a Sunday for my birthday. Every yes. day. Yes. So um yeah, remember it was a three piece meal up at KFC, but anyway, <laughs> Pelican Grill, dog. So that stick with me, but mm -hmm. like the love what I have for my brethren, man, like you and Swizzle and Belly Pong and Raga Raga, it's, I couldn't be where I am without that. Appreciate that, bro. You feel me? Appreciate love that. So, yeah, man. Surround yourself with people who can make you so who can make balance, you, eh? who make you better, yeah, who man. Push you, who push you, hey, who laugh at you, 
you met me. You know I mean? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> laugh with you. Laugh at laugh you. you. Yeah, Put me in a comfortable in a in a comfortable mindset. And these yeah. things build you and build your character. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? So anyhow, yeah, it was man. a pleasure, my brethren. Give thanks, man. Proud that you just to see him, bro. <laughs> and you know, for the viewers, this is it TV. I can talk. Give the channel a plug, no man. This is it TV. Yo, I, I can talk. Uh, blessings. I am proud of the man. Remember when we get this idea and we say, Yo, Davi, you can do this. Cause I only put people in those they used to write for the newspaper. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we, the, 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 the little journalist thing in yes, our sir. blood for a while. Yes, sir. You know yes, what I mean? Look up to and me. it's actually. In actually, bigger than that, it's really my passion, really, you know. Yeah, man. So, you know, we give thanks to the encouragement and everything, bro. And yes. guess what now, bro? Yeah. Officially, like we say, thank you for the viewers and the listeners. You know what I mean? Wherever you are, look forward to much more great content. I will always feature someone from where I am. So don't just look for the big names and all of these things. We're talking about people who are ingrained in certain sections of society and their communities doing great work, iconic work, and we go always present them. Uh, this guest, Coach Gregory Hall, a.k.a. Ruthie, a.k.a. Cow, someone, a man from Greenpan, Montego Bay, Jamaica, West Indies, out in Taliqua, Oklahoma, making a big difference to that community. Enough respect, my general. Blessings, King. Manners and love. Here. This is it, TV. I can talk. Where the I can talk.